Video from Finding Sky. I'm gay and I dislike the LGBT community. Interesting. I wonder how mad this video made people. You guys want to get mad? Let's get mad. You want to get mad today? Here we go. Month is almost over. Thank God, because if I see another rainbow flag on my feed, I might buy a pack of Skittles and start slingshotting them at my screen. No, 50-50, man. <laughs> my distaste may come as a surprise to some people. Oh, so loud. I'm actually a part of the LGBT community. In case you have- Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Notice from my endless references to titties and busty latinas in the past 10 videos. I like hot chicks. This is not a coming out video. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I don't need a rainbow flag in a teary-eyed video confessing uh -huh. the fact that I like big butts and I cannot lie. Yeah, yeah it true. I seem to hear that I'm actually extremely ashamed to be a part of this community. And oh, I you guys want to know the truth? I know a lot of people that are just like this, honestly. There's a lot of people that, like, don't want to talk about this kind of shit because they don't want to associate with it because it's it's so toxic it's so toxic there was a period of time when anyone who wasn't heterosexual was scrutinized or in severe cases even killed and as long mm -hmm. as that i can walk down the street holding a girl's hand and not face the scrutiny i also feel like we've passed the point of acceptance and are now at the point of blatant indoctrination someone has yeah. to say it these pride parades have gotten disgusting it's not dude i said this before and i'm gonna say it again all of this shit has nothing to do with gay people. I had an aunt who was a lesbian, like when I was like a kid. You know, she she was a lesbian. She had like a girlfriend or like a like a wife and stuff. I remember like visiting them. She was like super nice to me because she's she was like gay and she didn't have any like kids. And I remember she used to buy me like the new Mario game all the time. She never had like fucking rainbow flags up everywhere or any of that shit. She didn't have any of that. She just had like the person that she loved, and that's it. They didn't like throw this in anyone's faces. They didn't go to like pride parades. They didn't do any of that shit. It, it doesn't have to be like that is what I'm trying to say. It has nothing to do with that. With that in mind, I will tell you what this is actually about. If I get in trouble, it is what it is. But it has nothing to do with who you love or like if you want to be like a dude or a girl or whatever the hell. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with pure degeneracy. That's it. It's pure degeneracy. It's these people who are fucking degenerates and they hijack like the LGBTQ whatever the hell thing in order to display their degeneracy out in the open and use the LGBT people as a shield in order to block the criticism from their degeneracy. And that is exactly what this is. And that's why you have people walking around in public naked. What the fuck does that have to do with who you like and who you want to sleep with? Who you want to kiss? What does it have to do with you being a girl and saying like, I want to be a boy and I want people to see me as a boy? What does that have to do? What is walking around with your fucking dick hanging out like it's fucking the early 90s internet meat spin? What does it have to do with any of that? It has nothing to do with any, any of it. It has been hijacked by a bunch of perverts. That's what it is. That's what pride is about. It's about a bunch of fucking degenerate perverts hijacking, you know, a real struggle. I mean, let's be real, right? Let's not delude ourselves, right? Trans people and gay people and bi people all, you know, they all have, there have been periods of time where it was not as great for them. And there are, there are a lot of cases of people being like, oh, like, ew. You know, let's be real. But the mainstream of, of the world actually saying like, yo, like we need to slow this shit down. I, I think you can simultaneously be against the concept of like the whole pride thing. I, I think it's separated from the whole um, LGBTQ thing. You can be for there being freedoms for gay people simultaneously while criticizing the whole uh, concept of like pride. I think that you definitely can separate those two. And the problem is they try to conflate it where it's like they make it the same thing. So if you attack the degeneracy, you're attacking innocent people that have nothing to do with it. Does that make sense? They've like effectively hijacked it and used it as armor. They're literally putting like the non-crazy gay people and non-crazy like trans people, non-crazy like bi people. They literally are putting them in front of them as shields to protect them from any sort of criticism so that they can keep doing this kind of stupid shit. 
not even about acceptance anymore. It's a provocative and aggressive public display. That's what I mean. Look at this. Dude, this fetish. is not this. Dude, look, like they're walking around flogging people when there's like kids around. Like, what is this? Like, to be dude, an accepting look at and this. Space has turned into a hostile freak show. I didn't go to Pride, never will, unless it's to document the absurdity of it. But this is what LGBT is associated with now. It's no longer associated with peace, love, unity, and tolerance. Instead, it's associated with hypersexualization, provocation, mm -hmm. fetish, and bigotry. I don't know what happens in the days when we would encourage people to accept themselves and make peace with those who disagree with us. Because now we just scream obscenities at anyone even whispering a subtle argument. This community mm -hmm. has managed to weaponize its own labels and use them unfairly, not hesitating to label <coughs> any opposition as transphobic or homophobic. It's funny because we used to be the ones complaining about intolerance. Two girls holding hands in public were at risk of being fucking shot. There you have it. That's literally what I was talking about. They couldn't adopt kids, get married, start a family. So I completely understand why we spent so many years fighting for tolerance, but we have it now. And ever since we've been shown tolerance, we're now the ones refusing to reciprocate. Right. Now become the side that is intolerant to opposing beliefs. The script has flipped completely and it's not for the better. See, back in the day when I was a little G rolling up on my heelys trying to finesse the hoes, I didn't even know what gay was, much less- Dude, if I, dude, dude, if, if I was in high school, I would have gotten finessed by that, I'm not gonna lie what trans was. I grew up in the South, the deep South, like frogging, gator hunting, Confederate flag South. I thought LGBT stood for let's go beer tasting. <laughs> I didn't know a single gay person in my life and I didn't have a phone or any type of social media to be exposed to it either. And yet somehow I looked like this. Yeah, that seven or eight year old me dope slinging and pimping since 01, baby. My idol, if you can't tell, was Rob Deerdeck. And let me tell you, I got made fun of all the time. If only I had a dollar for every time someone asked me, Are you a boy or a girl? What the fuck, YouTube? I read your comments. Why do you dress like a boy? And I would always get so pissed off when people would call me gay, faggot, dyke, because at the time, I didn't know that I was gay. So I would just be standing there like... Dude, the comments in, the comments in the YouTube are just like, is Leaflet, is Leaflet a boy or a girl? Look at this femboy. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck are you even talking about? I'm none of these things that you're calling me. It wasn't until I was going into high school that I realized, oh shit. <laughs> I like tits. Everyone around me knew before I knew. The reason I'm telling you this story is so that you're aware that I wasn't- Do this because anime waifus are hot. That's why, I mean, it's not my fault. I didn't do, I didn't, I don't make the rules, okay? I don't make the rules. And dude, what's, what's even the point at this point? What's even the point? All of the anime, all of the anime dudes, they look like girls anyway, right? So what's the point? acting or pretending or trying to fit a label or any of that bullshit. I never dressed like a boy out of opposition for tradition. I never did it in pursuit of being unique. As cringy as it sounds, I was genuinely just being myself. My interests were never in Barbies or playing house. I wanted to play basketball and build Lego City. I was never constantly in my head thinking, oh, if I do this masculine thing, then this feminine. No, what eight- the, See, the weird thing is, is like, I, I kind of relate, but also like not really. Because like, whenever I played on like the playground, like we always played like some sort of like sort of like masculine thing but i always like played like a girly character i would i would like pretend i was like paula from earthbound or like marl from chrono trigger it was it was never like a super tomboy character year old kid thinks about that for an eight-year-old kid to be thinking like that but then i guess the the act of playing like that and like carrying around a frying pan to use as a weapon I, I, I guess that kind of is a little bit like kind of tomboyish in, in the first place. Maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I just I just did what I, I wanted to do. Either have to be medically neurotic or extremely brainwashed by social media. I didn't have TikTok or Instagram as an eight year old kid. Thank God. And I feel genuinely sorry for kids growing up on these platforms. Dude, me too. To all of these attention. Me too. Rat what? what? They're growing up on these platforms being I don't get this. See that all the real trans people 
are discreet. You don't know that they're trans because they don't want you to know. They want to blend in as a normal person and live a normal life as their changed gender. They don't want anyone asking their pronouns. Mm -hmm. They want it to be so obvious that you just assume their gender. That's why they spent thousands of dollars on corrective surgeries so that you could mm. look at them and not ask what they are. That's the whole thing. Yeah, do you like Julio, man? Like, I didn't know about that. Point of a transition. All of these people you see on social media boasting about their transgenderism <laughs> are the ones transitioning out of a feeling of emptiness and need for validation. They're not doing it out of a genuine sense of dysphoria and discontentment with their body. These days, the members of the LGBT community are all demanding that people acknowledge and accept their often obscure- Hey man, he bullies me all the time! He bullies me all the time! I deserve it! Identities. It feels like everyone's desperately grasping at these labels, all in a fight to be unique and interesting. But since when did we become so desperate for approval and validation? These people look attention hungry and childish. It's like they're That's desperate true, yeah. for the whole mm -hmm. world to accept and integrate their worldview. But that expectation is frankly unrealistic and juvenile. Mm -hmm. My sexuality is not a core part of my identity. I don't purposely flaunt it. I don't expect anyone to respect it. And I sure as hell don't need a strain. This is why I kind of don't get it. I, I That's one thing I, I really don't get. The whole like... I like girls or I like guys. And that's like the whole, that's like my entire thing. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's so weird. Like, I, I, I don't know. That's weird. Why it's okay. You I know, know if that's like, am, if that's like everything that you are, what, like, what is that? Like, you like that or not is absolutely irrelevant to me. I'm not proud of being gay. I think that shit's mad dumb. Because when you think mm -hmm. of the word pride, you think of some type of achievement some accomplishment, something you worked for. Dude, I like her. She's so cool. <laughs> My attraction to women is not something that I chose. I didn't work for it. It's just how I am. Straight people don't flaunt the fact that they're straight. That's just how they are. Mm -hmm. Do you really think that anyone gives a shit about what genitalia you're attracted to? I genuinely can't think of a more irrelevant detail about your character. I don't give yep. a fuck who mm -hmm. you are. As long as it's not my chick. <laughs> Dude, I, I I like that. That's great, actually. Dude, I I agree with that. Like like everything. Yeah, I, I just I don't get it, man. Like I I don't I don't. You just need to be a big booty Latina. Like, damn it, damn it. Uh, true, true. Uh, very true. But yeah, that was a pretty good video, actually. I want to watch more. I kind of want to watch more from them. Don't spank yourself in public and get mad at, at people who don't. I mean, it's like I said, dude, like the whole thing of like, you know, let's walk around, like have a parade with like little kids around and act super degenerate. Like, I just I don't get it. I don't I don't know what it has to do with any of it. Like, just have a degenerate parade. Just have a degenerate parade. And then everybody can be like, I don't want the degenerate parade. They gaslight themselves into thinking none of it is sexual. Dude, it's 100 percent. There's no way it's not. Why, why walk around with your dick hanging out? I, I, I mean, if you think I'm making this up, like, like you can watch videos of Pride Parades. I don't, I don't have to. I've seen it. I don't, I don't have to elaborate. Uh, Pride Parades related to degenerate exhibitions. Yeah, like, what is it, dude? And like the whole thing with kids. Why is it always? Why does it always have kids? Right? Like, it's just, dude. I don't know. That's what I think it is. I have plenty of gay friends. I have plenty of friends who are members of the LGBT community or whatever the hell that even fucking means. What does that mean? LGBT community. It's like, yeah, I'm friends with people because they're also gay. Like, what the fuck? Like, I can understand you like wanting to be friends with somebody because like they have something that you relate to. But like, there has to be more to it than like you're also gay. You know what I mean? Imagine bringing kids to a bondage meeting. Yeah, exactly. Pride renders ones blind to their own flaws. There's a reason it's a sin. Yeah. Not even speaking like in a religious sense, but it's not good for you. Pitsky says, as a gay person, I never understood it. I know a lot of gay and bisexual people I disagree with on certain things. It's too broad a term to nail down. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm friends with people that are gay. It has nothing to do with that. With them being gay. I'm not like, yo, I want to be your friend because you're gay. That's fucking weird. You know what I mean? Like, again, like I can understand people saying like, oh, I want to be friends with someone that like shares an experience with me right but there has to be more to it other than that right that's just like a a bonus rather than like the entire point do you see what i mean when i finally get my trans clinic appointments i'm just gonna say uh, i'm a trans every stream not obnoxious at all wait are you actually hikate i didn't know that actually if that's actually true that's that's cool i hope it works out for you yeah contrary to popular belief i actually don't 
I actually don't dislike trans people. Contrary to contrary to what everyone thinks. And I, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm I kinda I'm kind of like, I don't even know. Dude, I don't even know what to call myself, honestly. Like I never like really like tried to prescribe myself a label, but I just I kind of I'm like the type of person that I just I like people based on their personality. So like it has nothing to do with like the um like sexual aspect of it. Like does it matter as much to me? I just like who I like. It doesn't matter. The gender of the person doesn't matter to me. I'm like that kind of a person. And it's kind of weird because like like I, I try I tried to think about it because you know I've had friends I've had friends who are like, you know, they're they're LGBT and they're like really into like the whole category you, you, know, you know what I mean like a lot of like LGBT people are like super into like categor categorization and like name like na like status like uh in terms of like what is the actual term for your sexuality and like so, so because of that like I, I have thought about it a lot and I just I don't I just don't care I don't care I've I found that um in my experience that women are harder to deal with that's like the main factor for me. I think girls are hotter, but they're all significantly harder to deal with like mentally, I think. I mean, I don't care if you are an asshole, you are an asshole. This is underscore. It doesn't matter if Tula will still be offended. I don't even care anymore. Fuck up, man. That's not to say that like that's like always the case. Like obviously there's like a lot of dudes that are crazy as well. Um, I just think that percentage wise, it's like it's like harder for me to get along with girls i think than than guys that's how i feel about it it's not really a big deal that's why i don't talk about it on stream because it doesn't matter i have got yeah i've always i've always had guy interests it's like uh well just video games specifically and the thing is like most of the people that like actually do that stuff are like guys like almost all of my friends have been like guys and the people i spend the most time with are guys like like online so that's why I talk like this. If you've wondered, like, oh, why does why does Leaflet like not talk like? Oh my God, guys! Like, hi, my name is Leaflet. Um, today on stream, I'm gonna be like checking out. Um, I'm gonna play like a game. Like, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Sand. I'm so excited to play Sand. And uh, you guys wanna watch? That's why I don't do that. Because I don't talk like that because I because again, like I hang out with mostly dudes and like 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 it like when you're playing like Counter Strike, there's no fucking time for that, you know? Like there's a f there's like there's like three fuckers on cat. There's three fuckers like like pushing cat and I just got flashed. I'm not like other girls. God damn it, man. Dude, people keep saying this. I'm not, dude. Bro, I'm not trying to do dude. Okay, let, let's let me get this straight, okay? Hey, hey, go, let me, dude. I have heard other girls say this to me, and it drives me fucking insane. Okay, so I'm gonna set the record straight. Other girls have said this to me. Oh wow, leaflet, are you some kind of pick me? Because like you know, you like don't act like all the other girls. No, I just act like this because I fucking play games, and you can do it too if you fucking play games. All right, I'm not trying to fuck everyone I'm in the lobby with. Jesus, don't project on me. I have Caesar King. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> she was born in the uh, MLG and forged by Caesar King. 